And the reality is there's so much change happening all around us and so much technology and disruption. Um, but even with that, I think one of the things that's happening is the expectation of a CFO is very different. Mm -hmm. You have to really be thinking about, let me tell you what's happening, but let me also tell you what's going to happen. Let right. me let me help you look around corners. Um, let me help you put those headlights out further. Uh, and then I would take it a step further, um, especially in technology, right? There's such amazing growth and disruption happening. So there isn't a CEO today uh, that isn't thinking about growing and growing right. faster. Right. And so as a, a modern CFO, part of your job is how do you help make those choices to help enable the company grow faster? And so that's what I get excited about. It's super fun. So the CFO can play a completely strategic role like we talked about at the mm -hmm. very beginning. Uh, I think one key element of being that partner is really providing the context of where the company is and where it's going. Yeah. Um, and so doing that requires you to have, at least for us, we have a very rigorous planning process that I enroll the entire leadership team in. Mm -hmm. And so as we're thinking about where we wanna be two, three years from now, we're thinking about the investment choices we're making today yeah. to get to that future destination. Uh, in terms of data and innovation, I think one thing we we really value is understanding, well, where is that innovation coming? What are the things that we're doing that are simply keeping the lights on? And what are the things that are doing that we're doing to innovate for our customers? And not necessarily what customers want today, but what they're going to want two years from now, three years from now. Uh, and so I think that's one thing as a CFO, and I'm sure you get this too, is really understanding the business in a way that you know, you could be tomorrow the head of sales, you could be running product because yeah. you understand the business so well. When it first really became obvious to me, it was when I left Amazon to uh, become the CFO of Groupon in 2011. This was a company that was completely enabled by, uh, I would say by, by really cloud. Uh, this was a company that in two years had gone from zero to about uh, uh, 700 million in sales. And then in the third year, the, the year that I was there, they went to 4 billion in sales wow. in, in one year. So to go from zero to 4 billion in three years was not possible uh, until you had cloud infrastructure that would allow you to basically go rent all the necessary uh, EC2 and S3 uh, uh, services to be able to uh, host a data uh, center and be able to operate a website. We just started a couple years ago, uh, started moving from a entirely on-prem software solution uh, to the cloud. Um, first, starting off uh, as just a non-stateless single-tenant architecture. Uh, we're now multi-tenant, multi-you know, stateless architecture. That said, uh, AWS is far and away our, our biggest partner. Uh, we we you know I think about a quarter of our business now is in cloud, uh, and it's growing you know much much faster than on-prem. We think that our business probably will be at least half cloud over the next year or two, and uh, and in that time frame, the ability to have a partner like Amazon to be able to scale with us, uh, you know, at in the hundreds of millions to billions of dollars uh, of of total con to total contract value, um, there's just not a lot of partners that can handle that. And so I'd say the partnership has been. Uh, been fantastic and, uh, and, and a key part of our growth.